friends good afternoon today we are going to study on continuation of circuit breakers oil circuit breakers in this class we are going to complete as we have completed reason for arc that is phenomenon of arc different methods of arc quenching methods we have seen previous classes in this class we are going to in details and application point of view how the arc quenching methods high resistance method and low resistance method can be used to quench the arc during short circuit conditions and overload conditions how we are going to protect our electrical costly equipment from this hazards let us introduce myself my name is dr ch adaya senior lecturer in electrical and electronics engineering government polytechnic osnabad so today topic is regarding to diploma fifth semester ee fine art 4 switch gears and production subject unit 2 circuit breakers and reactors today topic consists of this following objectives on completion of this topic you would be able to know first one the necessity of switch gears in electrical field the basic working principle of single break bulk oil circuit breaker double or double break bulk oil circuit breakers construction of minimum oil circuit breakers these are the applications of quenching methods let us learn one by one with the diagrams now you can see this is the very big complex network we have to plan such a way that every equipment every operators should be placed within a systematic way even then after perfect planning sometimes unwanted things may be happen But during this process total system may be collapsed how we are going to protect this costly equipments in substations in domestics in industries as you know that electrical energy is a very powerful electrical energy this electrical energy converted into different type of the energy sources like by using illumination lights tube lights different type of illumination purpose it can it can be converted to the mechanical energy just like some motors and heat in case of furnaces so on different energy can be converted from our electrical energy so that is the importance of this our electrical energy so if you are not interested if you are not kept mm, some observation on our equipments if you are not placing a proper way with protective switch switch gear and equipments then what is happening you can see here you can see how even we are going to a perfect planning sometimes there is a possible to some accidents may take place this electrical accident is a very dangerous comparing to the normal fire accidents so because it cannot be nullified by using the water simple so because it is a continuity of water act as a conductor and it is a very dangerous to the uh, person we are going to nullify the fire so what are the let us see few examples of uh, fire accidents in electrical fields now you can see you can see the electrical problems 
taken bus because of the cable discharge short circuiting occurred you can see the cable also how this a uh, simple short circuit is because this the arc is uh, continuous for the long time if the in sub station you can see it if you observe the initially problem is a very very small after that it will become a big he wanted to create the problem you can see it simply ab switch so you can see here. so how the problems if circuit is in a faulty condition how it is going to occur so these are the some few now you have seen the practical electrical fire accidents as you seen the system is arranged in a systematically even then sometimes there is a leakage current due to the insulation failures due to the substandard materials the fault is initially very very leakage current is a very very small if it is continuous for long time this small problem creates a big problem just like this a blown up transformers blown up nearby equipments so we have to identify the problem at the time of the small stage otherwise we have to pay the the large amount of the penalty at the same time sometimes it may be lead to the fatal death of operators or the persons who are going to work nearby that equipment and as a electrical engineers what we have to do how we are going to control this faults how if the fault cannot be controlled because the problems may be occurred at any time so at the time up in installation itself we have to use as per isc isi standards materials we have to follow the ie rules strictly we have to follow the rules and regulations while installing this equipments and diagrams wiring even then sometimes there is a problems may be going to occur then what are the protections we are going to use so this is a very a big problem now you can see here this transformer itself to the overloading of transformer what is happening inside the coil heated transformer oil is inside it is a 
flammable oil. The temperature exceeds for over the temperature more than nearly 100 degrees then automatically it will become as a flames and not only this is power system in our transformers and sometimes you can observe due to the overloading like misoperation continuous operation of some equipment you can see this one so it may be observed this is the extension box it is a lighting extension box what is happening here two two three four overloaded what is happening so it is a lighting load less than 5 amperes now the load is connected four items automatically there is a possibility you can know there is a possible may the accident may be occurred but due to your work you are neglecting these rules but you are using the small extension box for the four loads what is the result you can see it sometimes you can see so this is the one type of the dangerous takes place in our homes also then you can see in transformer but it is a small failures of leakage current it creates a totally collapse of lakhs of rupees of transformers and at the same time not only in field sometimes uh, dc supply also from battery the, due to the failure of insulation so you can say total bus cost small dc supply 12 volts dc supply they spoil the total bus and these are the some sometimes you can observe the daily using computers also so these are the uh, results what is the results now this is a what what, what is the re, what is the reason simple negligence simple using substandard materials negligence of maintenance it creates a large amount of difficulties then what to do as an electrical engineer you can see so we have to think it we know that our electrical energy is a mighty power it can serve whatever the work is given but at the same time it is a very dangerous so what to do as an electrical engineer so we have to stop this type of the miss usage miss accidents then what to do how to protect all equipments as well as the persons and the operators then we have the some idea a systematic arrangement of the proper switch gates so by using the proper switch gates we are going to avoid we are going to minimize the, the faults damages to the equipment as well as the persons what are the switch gears you know that this is a switch gears by placing protective equipments controlling equipments lighting arresters circuit breakers isolators different switching gear arrangements acting system so all combine work for protection of system then so as you know that what is a switch gear the switch gear you know that the operators used for switching controlling and protecting of an electrical equipment is known as switch gear we can use three purpose switching purpose controlling purpose and protecting in case of any short circuits you might have observed you might have observed the equipments generally used in our domestic also you can see so here you can see this one the switch simple switch lighting switch it can be operated for a simple fan light tube light tv refrigerators whether it's a lighting load and power load less than 5 amperes power load in case less than 15 amperes now what is the protective equipment you can see the fuses different type of fuses kit kat fuses glass fuses and uh, hrg fuses different type of switches by using these switches a uh, fuses we are going to control the circuit whenever problem occurred now how to detect by using the relays 
the relays detect the problem okay something is going on by change we are observing the characteristics of electrical energy what is its voltage what is the current what is the active power what is the power factor what is the frequency this can be observed by the our cts pts in power system and it can detect the it gives the signal to the our switching switches so it can avoid it can minimize the, the severity of the fault now what are the features of this switch case what to do this one so this switch case should be required some following properties what are the properties when the fault occurs the switch gear must operate to isolate the faulty section from the healthy section and to ensure the quantity of the supply and improve the reliability to the consumers that is the first thing we have to give the quality power to consumers at the same time un uninterrupted power supply to the consumers if problem occurred the problem section should be isolate and healthy section should be given to the remaining consumers during this period whatever the problem occurred the immediately we have to restore after that we can couple to the healthy system so that can be done by our switch gears our switch gear must able to carry the normal current and also the fault current for a short period it can bear it can so such a way that we can make it it can has to bear the fault current for few seconds or 120% of the load overload can bear our equipments such a way we are going to design our equipments should be bare when fault fault occurs the switch gear should be operate as possible as quickly to avoid the damage to the remaining equipments in our power system or in distribution system at the same time a switch gear must have provision for the manual operation manual control and the remote control and automatic control at the same time this should be very simple easy to understand each and every operator simple layman at the same time the quality should be very good design also these are the properties required for a switch gear system you can see so simple a circuit here the breaking mechanism of circuit breaker what is it it is a intelligent circuit so this circuit if works perfectly in our distribution system or in power system the, the minimization of the fault can be reduced further what is the this one already you known so what are the things you know that so this is a pt it will measure the voltage in the system this is ct current transformer it will measure the current potential transformer it measure the voltage it measure the current normal v to i always ct proportional current will pass through the trip coil it will produce generate some flux and this flux unable to pull trip contacts close position hence the battery is not connected to the trip mechanism then it will not operate simple ideal then what is happening the two contacts in the circuit breaker is closed condition then what all the current is coming here simply flowing through the load circuit under normal condition this is a mechanism under normal condition then if the fault occurred suppose in this line if the current is coming in this direction to this direction if i want to create some fault the line is fallen on the ground then what is happening 
before this fault under normal condition the line what is the load current il the line current is coming under normal condition so for example you can take the 100 amperes proportion current flows in the secondary of the ct is a for example 5 amperes the 5 amperes induces flux such a way that it will try to pull the trip contacts upward but is unable to pull due to the spring action inside the trip contact then the, your what are the stored energy dc energy is not given to the our plunger mechanism mechanical mechanism so it will same status it is not operated it is not opened then current will simply flows if fault occurred if i am forcefully creating the this line fallen on the ground then what is happening instead of 100 amperes now due to the fault current the current may be more than 100 amperes will flows through the line the proportionate voltage as we know that when the fault occurred if the fault current increases very enormous the more than 100 amperes during this process the voltage also because at this condition our power factor also reduced to the less than 0.1 lag once the power factor lagged from 0.85 to 0.1 lagging then what will happen the fault current increased enormous the voltage reduces then so heavy current flows through the lines then due to this current what will happen if the current flowing in the secondary is uh, greater than 5 amperes once now the flux is produced is uh, greater than the previous case now this flux is now able to close the trip contact of per site then they closes the two contacts once it closes what will happen whatever the battery is given to the our mechanism the current will flow through this one then automatically the mechanical equipment will operate then it will try to open the circuit it comes this direction then whatever the short circuit current is feeding to the fault is isolated by using your breaker that means we are going to so the current which is coming from the supply is now stopped due to the opening of the trip contacts this is uh, opening of the contacts so this is a thing that means so when it may be occurred at what time it may be going occurred we don't know so we placed some intelligent fellows cts and pts it will sense abnormal conditions whether voltage and current and power factor and the frequency the different the electrical characteristics always measures that will gives to our the analysis system here is a relay system we can see the relay system the relay will assist the relay will make always compare these qualities with predetermined values if this values are violates with predetermined values then it will give the signal to our circuit breaker then circuit breaker will operate so you can see the here simple the some animation i think you know this thing but at a glance you can uh, remember thing now you can see when normal condition if there is no fault occur I can see here then what is happening here the current is coming here simply it is going to the load through the load at the same time CT also taking the current now the trip contact is unable to go upper side the breaker is in a closed condition it is a normal operating condition now when I want to forcefully make in fault here nearby this place then what is happening you can see I am going to make the fault here. Here I am going to make the earth fault. Then the current is flowing through the trip contact. 
then trip count is closed and the trip mechanism operated and open the contacts between the you can see here two contacts are opened here and here you can see the two contacts are closed here once it's closed whatever the electrical energy given to the coil and that is going to operate this and opened then no current is flowing here so whatever the current is coming here it is stopped here only so there is no feeding the fault point so this can be sensed by our relays in our substations it will give the alarm to the operator something is happened then he can intimate to the nearby operator or lineman so where you are going to restore the fault immediately so these are the intelligent system we are going to incorporate it in our distribution system as well as in the power system to minimize the the faults so this is the basic concept of circuit breaker mechanism now based on this principle we are going to manufacture the circuit breakers now what are the circuit breakers let us see different type of the circuit breakers the circuit breakers classified based on the location based on the voltage based on the medium which is used to quench the arc now based on the location once again it can be used for indoor circuit breakers and outdoor circuit breakers indoor circuit breakers can be used less than the 36 kva and outdoor more than that one we are going to use the outdoor now coming to the voltage based on the as we know that low voltage high voltage medium voltage ehv and vhv based on different places we require the different circuit breakers based on the voltage we are going to if the voltage is less than the 1 kv 1000 volts be below we are going to lv breakers and medium voltage breakers less than 52 kv and uh, high voltage breakers less than 220 kv breakers and extra high voltage breakers where we are going to use less than 765 kv as we know that in our india the maximum transmission voltage is a 765 kv at the same time under trial the 200 kv also under trial and for the more than 765 to 1200 kv circuit breaker so we are going to use a the ultra high voltage circuit breakers these breakers are classified based on the voltage at which it is going to operate now based on the medium which type of the medium we are going to use in circuit breaker to quench the arc so if you are using the oil then oil circuit breakers if you are using the low media that is a vacuum then we can use the vacuum circuit breakers if you are using the, the air as a media in a compressed manner then air blast circuit breaker and if you are using as a, a latest the effective the sulfur sulfur hexafluoride a substance gas then it is another the SSS circuit breakers so these are the different type of the breakers based on its location based on the voltage based on the medium used so these are used for based on this voltages you know the ranges also now so these are the basic idea of circuit breakers why what is the need of the circuit breakers what is the switch gears and how the switch gears operates in a single diagram we have seen now what are the different type of the classification of circuit breakers one second we have seen now let us see our topic that is the all circuit breakers let us see that is a ocb it can be used less than 132 kv voltage olden days the dominating uh, the breakers are the oil circuit breakers have you observed these breakers similar to the it can used single phase tank nearly 5000 liters of oil in a tank to quench the arc that is a big size similar to the small hut you can see the one figure here so this is the 
bulk oil circuit breakers here you can see these are the for one phase r phase y phase and b phase the size you can see this much of the size and it is a capacity in nearly 5000 liters of transformer oil here the oil acts as a insulating media and it acts as a cooling media two purpose we are going to use here so that much of the quantity of oil is required to catch the arc if voltage increases further the size of the tank also increased now let us see so simple operation what is inside of oil circuit breakers this oil circuit breakers as we know that the single break operation and double break operation previous classes we have seen single break operation and double break operation inside the breaker so there is a only one place while it is a closing opening the arc is coming at one place that is a single break if the op the arc is coming at a two times two places then it is known as a double break operation let us see one by one clearly now you can see this one figure so this is a single break single break operation what is side you can see here this one concentrated so this is a our diagram single diagram this is a the physical system in our field in electrical field now how it will operate you can see what is consist it consists of a current carrying contacts enclosed in a, a strong weather tight earth metal tank and the tank is filled with a transformer oil so nearly 5000 liters the oil is both act as an arc extinguishing medium and as an insulator between the live parts and earth parts so here we are going to use it there should be earth and this is the live part so here medium so this is the oil so in between live conductors and this body at the same time here this one conductor and conduct in between act as a medium now you can see at the top of the oil here you can see top of the oil air is filled in the tank which act as a, a cushion to control the displaced oil on the transformer on the formation of gas around the arc and also observe the, the mechanical shock of the upward movement of oil while the fault occurred so we are not fill the total oil here so this is area is a empty we are place air filled because once the, after you know the, the mechanism you can see it The breaker tank is securely bolted for carrying out the vibrations caused on interrupting a very high current. When the fault occurred at that condition, we are going to operate the moving contact. Then what is happening inside? This arc is developed. Due to the arc, oil decomposition takes place. Oil due to the decomposition, the gas is formed, the hydrogen gas bubbles formed. This try to escape that tank, but it is a sealed one. It will come top in the air cushion area. And so it try to escape, there is no path. Then it create the stresses, mechanical stresses, electrical stresses, different stresses. At that condition, we have to bolt, uh, firmly we have to bolt it tank. So this is the one mechanical property. The oil circuit breaker consists of the gas outlet which is fitted in the tank cover for the removal of gas. After that, nullifying the arc, so we have the some op vent. So we are going to place some vent. So from the vent, it is a what of the gases inside, it will go out after quenching the arc conditions while resetting the operator.
so these are some mechanical properties of circuit breakers now what is happening so let us see some operation inside now you can see it what is happening during the normal operating conditions the contacts of the oil circuit breaker is closed and carry the normal current to the load As you can see here so whatever the input you can see it whatever the current entering going going and going no break takes place here that means whatever the current is coming it is going this way the input this is the output when now i am going to make one fault here i am going to make the fault output side here some earth fault then what is happening this current instead of small current it will become the double the current coming here so when the fault occurs in the system the contacts of the breaker are moving apart and an arc is struck between the electrodes when it is separated here so how it is a mechanism operate already we have seen when the fault occurred in this case when fault occurred fault occurred in this case the abnormal current entering in the circuit before that one our intelligent equipments cts and pts detect the fault and gives a signal to the our breaker mechanism here our breaker will try to open then what will happen? under normal condition the breaker male and female contacts the close each other now once the signal comes from the our relay system then this breaker and moving breaker will go this direction so gap is created between the two once current carrying conductor is chopped at a time then what will happen there is a, a big arc fire maybe takes place in between this one that is takes place here due to this arc a large amount of heat is liberated nearly 5000 degree kelvins and so this high temperature this high temperature is reached which vaporizes the surrounding oil into the gas so these are the things the gas already we know that so mostly it has a different type of gas particles most of the 80% of the gases are hydrogen gases methane gases ethylene gases acetylene gases these are the different types of the gases generally used developed generated when arc is struck with the surrounding transformer oil so this hydrogen bubbles occupies the large thousand times of area occupied by the displaced oil due to the pressure increases inside the tank the gas thus liberated surrounding the arc and its explosion growth around it displays the oil velocity now oil velocity also increases then what is happening once due to the velocity of the oil and suddenly puff the arc at a time and the arc is lengthened and cooled once lengthened cooled its dielectric strength of oil increases the arc resistance also increases automatically it will comes to end at the when it reaches to the at zero crossing period of cycle i think you can understand the arc is extinguished when the distance between the fixed and moving contact reaches a certain critical value so once 
we are going to move away and away the arc also try to lengthen once it is lengthened it weakened that means area of the cross section decreases l is increases the arc resistance increases once arc resistance increases it will oppose the flow of the short circuit current and at the same time whatever the voltage generated developed between the two contacts unable to recycle once again during this period the media between the two contacts the dielectric strength increases then arc may not be sustained for the cycles so this arc also depend upon the the current and the recovery voltage so this is the basic idea of what is happened inside the breaker you can see one animation what is taking under normal condition what is happening under fault condition what is happening you can see the some animation you can get the some idea now see you can see it now here you can see the animation now under normal condition the current is flowing you can see here these two contacts here two contacts are closed condition so mechanism this is a this is a fixed one this is a moving contact no, no, there is no gap now in second stage under normal condition whatever the current entered into the terminal it is a simply going to the out, output terminal now i am going to create some fault in the second side then the moving contact is moved away then what is happened or the arc is stuck in between the two contacts hydrogen bubbles are formed the hydrogen bubble formed around the the arc path so due to this one what will happen the hydrogen gas also forms so here the hydrogen gas liberated uh, occupied the left over places that the air places air cushion then the pressure increases one pressure increases then dial strength of the oil also increases then it will try to quench the arc immediately so this is a basic operation of oil circuit breaker takes place in single break system i think you have the some idea on this one in single break oil circuit breaker you have the scene what is happening under normal condition male and female contacts are contact each other current is flowing from primary side to second side when fault occurred in second side on other side of the breaker terminal 2 then the current flows high short circuit current this can be identified it will get the signal from the relay system the mechanism will operate that mechanism will try to withdraw the moving contact from the fixed contact then once it is opening a small gap from the contact area between the fixed contact and the moving contact go go on decreasing once decreasing the current density increases between the fixed and the moving contact due to the heat will takes place once it is a small gap opened there is a rate of rise of recurring voltage between the two contacts then high voltage will try to ionize the what are the media between the fixed contacts and the moving contacts so due to this one a big arc will takes place the arc is nothing but the flexible conductor it creates the con the electrons charge electrons charge electrons charge electrons and ion positive ions these are the very active in arc will we try to flow the flexible conductors once the due to the high temperature the arc which is having the 5000 degree kelvins oil it contacts the high temperature the temperature due to the temperature the oil is decomposes dissociates creates hydrogen bubbles uh, hydrogen gas inside and that will create high pressure inside due to this one the dielectric strength of the media increases 
the arc resistance increases then it may not be sustained in the next cycle it will clench it at the zero crossing period in case of ACI. This is the basic mechanism takes place inside a single brakes operating system. Now let us see the another one so double brake system. So here what is the double brake system similar to the previous case here double brake system you can hear previous cases here double brake it is a it consists of conductors we know and bushings insulators and oil moving contacts here you can see the this is a bottom is a moving contacts this is a fixed contact this is a fixed contact it has a two fixed contacts one is the moving contact by using the one mechanism here it can operated upward and downward by using the some mechanism so here so what is happening here there is a braking takes place here is a braking takes place while operation so here two brakes takes place that's why we are going to call it is the double brake operating system now so what is its construction so in this breaker two fixed contacts are bridged by a, a moving contact the moving contact is fit, fitted with the driving mechanism of the oil circuit breaker by means of an insulated rod as a moving contact bridges moves downwards the contacts gaps are created with a fixed contacts at both end of the intermediate moving contacts bridge hence the during this process once it's going to the downwards the arc is produced at both contact gaps which leads to high pressure inside the tank which will increase the dielectric strength of the media previous cases we are going to get the one arc only here in this case we are going to get the double arc at the two places then what is happening the temperature developed inside is a very very high then the gas developed inside is a very very high and rapidly then the quenching time is very very quick in case of double braking what is happen in the why we are going to prefer the double braking system why not the single braking system in single braking system when the current is very very high then operation is very quick when the short circuit current is less then what is happening the arc is developed also very very less that means time take to operate in a single break time is it takes a time for the low currents so we don't want them thing so improvement of single braking we are going to the double braking system so in double braking system so as possible uh, already we know that it should be quickly operated it should be isolated from the faulty section from the healthy section so that means the inside the transformer oil the dielectric strength should be increased rapidly and increase the, the arc resistance rapidly that can be done in double brake system in double brake system the at two places we are going to produce the arc and pressure also increase the double and operation also takes place very quickly by quenching the arc so which leads to high pressure inside the tank which will increase the dielectric strength of the medium at the due to the two arcs developed at the two places it is extinguished during a zero crossing of the fault current in next cycles so these are the some modification of single brake system i think you have the idea the or what are the fall what are the some uh, demerits in a single brake system it is overcome by using a double brake system so the physical construction how it will operate it already you know now you can see the one animation figure you can observe how this breaker will operate under normal condition under fault condition let us see here now this is a figure you can see it here what is happening under normal condition so this is a moving blade 
this one fixed one this is a fixed one two fixed contacts this is a moving contact it can move up and down by using the our mechanism under normal condition what is happening whatever the current entered is going and going in this one if fault occur this side then automatically so the mechanism will come down then breaking takes place at two areas then arc may be occurred at two places that arc is initiates the development of production of gas that will quench the arc you can see animation here what is happening under normal condition the current what is coming inside and is going outside two contacts are intact each other at both places now i am going to create one fault in that side then the breaker is opened it comes down then current is stopped then arc is take place at two places now due to this arc what is happening the hydrogen bubbles develop inside due to the high pressure temperature then after some times it will try to it will occupy a large space then create the some hydrogen gas it is a occupies the, the free space air space at the top due to this one what will happen the inside pressure increases that is enough for production of increase the dielectric strength of media which are which is going to nullify the arc so this is a double break system now this can be developed here what we are going to use here here i am going to use simple the fixed blade moving blade simple touching that means the fixed blade is the for example fixed blade this direction and moving blade this direction simply touching here so what is happening the arc is coming here so the arc near by these two contacts so in the sur surrounding this oil should be observe the water the heat is developed from the arc so total oil is going to carbonize instead of going to pressure inside total tank if i am going to create pressure only this side only inside only nearby here only whatever the oil presents in the ear small chamber then the pressure inside is a more and it will nullify immediately so that device is known as a r control devices that is a modification of this breaker by using r control devices we are have the a uh, advantages what are the advantages generally so we are going to use in the r control devices we can improve the operating capacity and the speed of the extinction of the arc also increases and decrease the pressure on the tank these are the some advantages may get by using r control devices so you can see the simple r control devices here this is a r control devices here i used this is r control devices at the both terminals inside so whatever the pressure develop is uh, increases speed of operation takes place and capacity also increased so how we are going to use one so you can see at a glance by we can observe what is inside here what is going to then we will see what is happening here let us see so this is a one thing you have to remember what is happening here here this is our control device before that one you can see so this is a fixed electrode this is a moving electrode here we are going to provide the our control device our control device at the same time we are going to some arcing part where the chuters are provided here so what is happened here you can see it so in simple arc quench breaker if the current value is low in previous cases the arcing time is more if the current value is more then there is a chance to explosion takes place in the breaker 
this two is nullified by using our power control device these were semi enclosed chamber of dielectric materials generally so these are the made up of the resin bounded the bakelite paper cylinders so bakelite is the material a resin bounded the bakelite paper cylinders the insulating materials used for making up the this chambers the purpose of our control device is to improve the operating capacity the speed up the extraction of the arc and the decrease the, the pressure on the overall tank the performance of the performance of the oil circuit breaker depends on the effectiveness of the arc control devices already we know the pressure developed by the evaporation of and dissolution of the oil is retained inside the vented explosive part only that area is a consist when withdrawn the moving contact through a stack of insulating plates the having a minimum radial clearance around the contact thus there is a practically no release of pressure until the moving contact uncovers one of the side vents then the compressed hydrogen gas can then escape across the arc path only thus exerting a powerful cooling action on the ionized column when the current reaches its natural zero crossing period the post arc resistance increased rapidly due to this cooling action so this is a main operation at a higher breaking current a larger will be the pressure generated and the bulk oil circuit breaker gives its best performance at the highest current within its rating if it consists of the arc control devices so these are the arc control device construction and operation i think you have the some idea once again i am going to explain you can see it so under normal condition what is happening so this fits moving contact and this will goes inside this one then what is happening whatever the current comes and going in this direction if any problem occurred the moving contact coming towards from this place to this place once it is opened the arc is developed between this one due to this arc whatever the besides this arc there is a transformer oil it will observe 5000 degree kelvin of temperature and this decomposes and dissociation takes place and due to this one what will happen the gases developed the ethane methane 80% of the hydrogen gases try to escape outside but what is happening here our this is a placed here only then you can see up to so our rod is the moving rod is a placing here only so the gas may not be go in this side and this direction the pressure increases this direction then once moving rod coming this direction this direction here then whatever the pressure increases during this process the dielectric strength of the arc the resistance of the arc increases dielectric strength of the media increases then the gas try to the hydrogen gas try to flows this across the arc and it cool hydrogen gas is a very effective to cool the media once it cools the dielectric strength increases then or once it withdrawn from this one it will blows through the the insulating this vents after it withdrawing this area up to this place whatever the this coal new oil entered inside this one and increase the for the dielectric strength this the r control device placed at both sides of fixed contacts so due to this one the speed of operation increases and mechanical stress developed on the breaker also decreases so this is a benefit of 
or control devices same thing we are going to use in menu mail circuit breaker also so this is a basic this is a or control device is a improvement of the system performance i think you have the some idea now coming to the here you can see now coming to the next so these are the or control devices now coming to the the salient points of the oil circuit breaker mocb so at a glance you can see mocb construction point only there is no time here so now we can see that the salient points of minimum oil circuit breakers you can see it okay before this one so we will now you can see the one animation of how the breaker is going takes place so you can see one is a fixed contact and is a moving contact so here this a gap between these two is operating this a total mechanism so below this the mechanism takes place how the breaker is operated you can see the animation yeah so inside the mechanism spring charge spring mechanism we can already we know spring charge pneumatic hydraulic mechanism generally used here while is operating it's a electrical characteristic also you can observe in this one once the breaker is operated then what is happening the moving contact so going to come towards down side so you can see the mechanism how it is operating you can see how there is a mechanism operating the yellow color goldish color is a fixed and moving mechanism so these are the thing you have to um, observe so you can see it later this one and uh, one explanation also oil circuit breaker oil circuit breaker is such type of circuit breaker which used oil as a director for insulating medium for our expansion in the circuit breaker contacts of the breaker are made to separate within an insulating layer when the fault occurs the system contacts of the circuit you can see the size of the breakers also for advantages the hydrogen gas is formed in the tank which has a high diffusion rate and good cooling properties very good so good property but it has some disadvantages also the oil used in oil circuit breaker is inflammable and hence yes. cause a fire hazard 2 
there is a risk of formation of explosive mixture. With the egg. Three, due to the composition of oil in the arm, the carbon particles is generated which polluted the oil and hence the dielectric strength of the oil decreases. Thanks for watching my learning video. So here, what has happened? Suggestion right in the comment box. Done for One more. So, we have seen the disadvantages and advantages of the all circuit car. Carbonization takes place during the, the each operation. There is a burning of the oil. Burning of the oil is nothing but carbonization. It is a decreases the dielectric strength of the oil. So what what to do? We have to filter frequently. Maintenance is required more. So that is a disadvantage you have seen. You can see the another uh, video also. You can get the some idea here. Moving contacts apart, but in reality, a controlled parking demonstration using a disconnect will help to show why. In this demonstration, a closed disconnect establishes or makes an energized circuit. So between the, the two cars, uh, input and output contacted some one switch. The, the fuse wire here they are used. The no, it's open. You can see a small arcing takes place. Arcing between the two contacts. Yes. In a circuit breaker, a number of factors work together to extinguish an arc and interrupt a circuit. The main factors we're going to look at are speed, distance, cooling, dielectric strength, and current zero. These are the two four factors. You can, use this you can see this one. Illustration to demonstrate the factors that help to extinguish an arc. The illustration includes two conductors connected by contacts to make a circuit. To break the circuit. The speed at which the contacts separate is important because the faster the contacts open, the less time there is for an arc to form and maintain itself. When the contacts separate rapidly, there is little time for the space between the contacts to heat up and become a conductor. Distance between the contacts is also important. As the distance increases, the arc has to stretch in order to maintain current flow. The greater the distance, the more voltage is needed to sustain current flow, and eventually the arc will extinguish. Cooling refers to any physical effects that take heat away from the arc. In general, when air and gases are heated, they become... So surrounding air will absorb the water of the heat inside the arc. So breakers Automatically it cools. take heat away from the arc. Some common ways that an arc is cooled in a in. breaker include directing a Some blast media. of air or gas at the arc, forcing the arc against cold metal or insulating in materials, one by arc which rapidly shooters. absorb and dissipate heat, and submerging the breaker contacts and the arc in insulating oil, which absorbs and dissipates the heat. So these are the things you have to uh, remember. So I think you have the some idea so what is a circuit breaker how this circuit breaker used for our uh, in our distribution system and in our uh, transmission system so these are the things we have learned we have seen few videos practically how our breakers will quench the arcing now let us summarize uh, what we have learned in this class. In this period, we have learned about the necessity of switch gears in electric field, the basic operation of single brake bulk air circuit breaker, and double brake bulk air circuit breaker, and construction of so we the construction and operation of the two breakers also we have seen. So these are the few example, few uh, small small.
things you have to remember as an electrical student about the our breakers and switch gear and protective equipments the major role role by our breakers what is the breaker how the breakers are classified how the breakers are kench the arc while in uh, breaking time of short circuit currents so these are the things you should know thank you very much for listening my class thank you very much